This mini journal is my interpretation of the weekly spin that is performed in the Facebook group to Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will check us out. The link to the group is in the description below. And come on over and have some fun with us. We are doing the weekly challenge, which is a simple premise. We have a wheel that is full and fully loaded with mixed media items. Cindy from It Doesn't Have to Be Perfect spins a wheel and chooses three items that we incorporate into a project of our choice every week. Cindy's video from It Doesn't Have to Be Perfect will also be linked below. So let's spin. Spinning for the wheel for May 28th, the weekly challenge. First item is an index card. Second item is packaging. Oops. And the third item is lace. So that's it. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will subscribe and also hit that notification bell that lets you know when I upload additional content. So the three items that we're going to be using for this challenge are index cards, the packaging, and lace. So let's get started by folding over the index cards. And we are just folding one index card in half and creating the booklet out of the folded index cards. Now when I'm folding, I'm folding to color two and leave one white, color two, leave one white. So the one that I'm going to leave white, I'm folding with the lines or the lined side of the index card to the outside and the ones I'm going to cover with paint I'm folding the lines to the inside. This is the packaging that I'm utilizing, and it was just the packing paper that was placed inside a box I received to prevent the item I purchased from shifting. I'm laying my index card down on this packaging paper and using the tear ruler to just tear it into the exact width of the card. And I'm turning it once again and tearing the exact length of the card. That is going to give us a, a real nice, rough, torn, rugged, rustic look on the edge of that paper. So see how, how that presents itself? Isn't that, isn't that nice? So this will, this will look nice when we get finished. Now let's lay some paint down. I'm using a light blue, and once again, I'll link all the colors that I used in the description below, but it is just like a turquoisey blue, and I'm just trying to pull up some color. So we have the light blue now on the card, and I'm putting down a darker blue. And we'll pull out a stencil, and I'm going to use a bunch of different um, boho type stencils. Now, the first thing I want to do is get this first kind of pull by pulling the ink off the top of the stencil and leaving the, the image or the stencil design on that gel press. So there, that's how that comes up when you make that second pull. So let's do it one more time. We're going to lay the light blue down and just get a little shading or a little color. And this time, there's still a little bit of the ghost print. And look, that comes out nice just like that. So we'll just, we'll use that. Now let's clean the gel press off and come back in with our second color. And I think we're going to use a blue, a green, a yellow, and a pink. So let's use this light green and get that thin layer down. 
and we'll just touch this index card to it, press it down, and there's that base coat. And we'll come back with a darker green and our stencil to create that boho image on the card. And there is our second one. And we'll do that again. So we're going to do two blue, two green, two yellow, and two pink. And our second color with the stencil. No, we don't want to use the same one. Let's pull out something different. There we go. And <clears throat> the difference between the first pull and the second one is the first one I had too much layered too much paint on for the first pull and that's why I took the piece of paper over it. And here are the two shades of yellow. And now let's come back with pink. I'm just cleaning off the plate a little bit first. But here's the pale pink. And let's come back with a dark pink. And there we go. So now let's fold, fold them all into place and ink up the edge of that packaging. So for each color, I'm going to ink the packaging the corresponding color. So we're using the greens, the blues, the pinks, and the yellows. And once again, all of the colors that I used in the ink to coordinate with the paint, I will link below. And we'll wind up just tying that or putting that lace on the front and the and the back kind of tying that through we're going to do that same stitch that i did in the coverless journal well we'll get started by marking where we are going to stitch i'm coming in about a quarter of an inch from each end this is a smaller smaller journal so we'll take a quarter inch from the end about another quarter inch for that second hole and then we'll go the width of the lace for the third hole and we're going to have a total of six marks on this piece where we're going to use the craft pick to poke through. So let's get those marked up. And now that we have that one marked, I'm going to grab the end piece or the opposite side or the last piece and just mark it as well. And then placing the two together we will just draw one line from the front to the back and this will show us where we need to mark each or where we not need to mark but where we need to poke the hole on each signature. So each index card forms a signature with the packaging. So let's poke our hole through that first signature and I'm just using a craft pick to do that. And we'll erase those lines or erase the pencil marks that we put on there so they won't show. We have the holes punched now. And let's get ready to sew through by threading up this needle. And I'm utilizing a waxed piece of thread. So the first thing we are going to do is tie a knot in the end of the thread. And that will 
prevent it from coming all the way through, obviously, when we make that first stitch. So now that we have this knot firmly in place, we'll come from the outside to the inside, and we're going through the entire signature, the index card, and the packaging. And we will come up through the second hole, down through the third, and we are just going to go in and out on this first signature. Up through the fourth, down through the fifth, and up through the sixth. So that completes the first signature. Now let's pull the lace in. So I'm cutting the lace in, into two strips that are the width of these index cards, and we're just going to pull that through that center hole. And that's why I said when you're marking your areas to punch or your spots to punch your holes, you want to measure the width of your lace because we're going to secure that lace with this stitch. So now let's punch the holes in the second signature. And let's tie it to the first by coming through from the outside to the inside of that first hole. And we are just going to come up next to that lace and be careful not to catch the lace in the thread. And once we are through, we are going to loop around the thread that is atop the lace on the first signature. So you can see we're pulling it through. And now just underneath that thread, being careful not to grab any of the lace with it. So we're coming underneath that thread. And once completely through, we'll just go down on the opposite side. And now we'll come back up through hole number four now, next to the second piece of lace. Underneath the thread. And down through hole number five. And back up through hole number six. And now I've gone through and put a several of these signatures together and I want to kind of explain to you how we're tying them all together. So let's just finalize this one. We're coming up through and down on the other side of the lace, of course grabbing, going underneath that thread on the previous signature. And here is where the, the threads start to form a little X. And you want to always put your needle underneath the thread on the side of that little X that is the furthest away from the direction you are coming from. I hope that makes sense. And now that you are through, you go back. Let me just see if we can get this picture clearly. So we have all of our lace in place. 
and I'll show you on this one. So we're punching the holes. And, and what, I, what I'm wanting to make sure that you're seeing here is when we start putting these signatures together, you're going to obviously be looping that previous signature in each time. And when you get to that final hole or that end hole, you want to loop back around that previous signature once again. So let's go around these pieces of lace through that thread at the X, the furthest from the direction we're coming. Here we are up next to the lace once again and through that X furthest from the direction we're coming. So if we're coming from the left side sewing to the right, we want to go in that far side of the X. You can see where I'm poking it through right there, getting on the far side and down through this last hole. Next to the lace. And then we'll come up in the final or the six hole. And then loop back to the previous signature before going down in the first hole on the next. So we're up through here and then just a loop See that loop right back around to that previous signature? And now we're going to start by adding the final one. So let's just punch the holes in it real fast. We've made that loop to tie that previous signature together in all areas and now we're back down up through next to the lace through the far side of the X and down back up through the far side of the X and down back up and loop around the previous signature. And now we're just going to go ahead and loop around all of the previous signatures because this was the last piece and I'm going to come to the bottom and tie off the knot so that both knots are on the same end of the booklet. There, we got that tied off, and I think I'll just trim that off now. And trim the excess off of the first little knot that we made. And now let's get the lace trimmed and glued down. So this is how that book opens up. It opens up flat, and I think this has made a nice little journal, a lot of journaling space. So let's just make it look a little neater on the front and the back. So let's trim that lace. And then I'm going to use the glitter glue to just glue it into place. I'm going to just lay that down there. Glue it 
it once again here and we'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. A little glitter glue. Down you go. Second one. And we are finished. So that completes this booklet. We've used the index cards. We've used the packaging. And we've used the lace. So we have accomplished what we set out to do. This is my interpretation of that spin. I hope you enjoy. And I think this created a nice little booklet. It um, is small in stature, but large in journaling space. And I, you know, I'm, I don't really use a lot of color like this and I, I'm, I'm liking that. So we have quite a few colors in here. Once again, my name is Peg. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel and join me as we complete these challenges on Friday and of course on Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I try to post four times a week or try to upload videos four times a week that fall into either techniques, simple projects, new projects, all kinds of things I'm getting into. And I hope that you will just come along and, and join me. Once again, thank you for being here. Your likes are welcome. Your comments are welcome. And I hope you will subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back when we upload additional content. Bye for now.